Hey guys, it's General Heat here again, and uh, well, well, first of all, how's everyone doing today? <laughs> so, once again, we are doing another video where it's me in real life. I know I don't do too many of these videos, but I uh, thought we'd do a fun video for today. So, if you remember my last video, I showed you guys what it's like to play Halo, specifically MCC, using that like big Microsoft ball mouse from like the early 1990s, like that really ancient mouse. And if you remember, it was actually kind of playable. Well, for today's video, we're going to be seeing what it's like to play Halo with a Xbox 360 racing wheel, or steering wheel, I guess. And, well, uh, I just, like I said, we're going to be tackling, to, uh, we're going to be taking a look at whether it's possible to play Halo with it, first of all. And if it is possible, how well can you play Halo, or can you even beat a Halo mission with it? So the answer to that is, well, it's actually kind of complicated. So... At first, I was going to try on an Xbox 360, and I actually did, but it's actually quite unplayable. Uh, Halo is actually quite unplayable on a 360 using the uh, racing wheel. So, we're going to be trying this on MCC for PC, and I'll explain why in a little bit. But, since we're on PC, in order to get this 360 accessory to work on a PC, I did have to dig around through all my old stuff to find... Um, this wireless Xbox 360 controller adapter because this does count as a 360 controller. Like I, I had a couple of Xbox One versions of it for the Xbox One controller, but I could not find my 360 one for a while. It took me a bit to find it. But I finally did and it still works fortunately, even though it's been like years since I last even like used it. But yeah, so let's get right into it. So the uh, because it is technically a 360 controller, it is still fully compatible with MCC on PC. So, like I said, the answer to whether Halo is playable with this, it's kind of complicated. So the answer is that really really only Halo 1, Halo CE, is actually compatible with this. The other Halo games, Reach, Halo 2, 3, and so on, they're not really compatible with this. I'll show you an example of those games for, before we get to Halo 1. So, let's, uh, let's try Halo 3 first, because that's my favorite Halo game. The problem is... Once we're in game, well, I can only strafe left and right. I cannot move forward or backwards. And if I want to jump, I actually need to switch my controller layout to uh, default, so I can jump the A button. Because I play on bumper jumper, so there's no bumpers for me to press. I can only shoot, which actually is pretty cool because I can be shoot, it actually lights up. And aside from shooting, I can also throw grenades. It doesn't light up when I use grenades, only shooting. So, in Halo 1, a lot of the stuff is actually the same, but the biggest difference in Halo 1 is that you can actually walk around using the D-pad. Whereas in, um, in all the other Halo games, the D-pad, you can't walk around, you have to use the left stick to walk around. Or if you invert your sticks, you have the right stick to uh, walk around. But since there's no sticks on this at all, except for steering, um, I, can, I can only either walk left and right or look left and right. But with Halo 1, if I combine the two together, I can use, oops, I can use the D-pad, as you can see, to walk in four directions. As for looking around, so by default, I can only strafe left and right. But MCC for PC actually supports swapping the... Um, the the sticks or basic looking so if i um let's see thumbstick layout if i switch it to legacy and that actually does the same thing for every halo game i can look left and right now just by using the steering wheel so, okay there's an auto look centering i've actually never used that feature before on mcc so let's see how it is it um apparently with auto look cent centering Anytime you, uh, anytime you start moving, it, it like centers your, your reticle again. So that should be very useful. All right, so in the interest of time, I am going to speed this up and trim out a few parts here and there. But as you can see, it, the, uh, it does work pretty well when using the, uh, the racing wheel this way. The challenging part, though, is that because I can't look up or down... I had to really improvise with uh, throwing like a grenade into the uh, the engine core 
because uh, I can't point the rocket into it. I, I thought I could use a rocket launcher, but it just, um, I can't aim it, as you can see. So I had to, like, just get, like, the perfect throw into the vents in order to uh, get the, uh, in order to blow it up with the grenades. And it, it took a few tries, as you can see here, but eventually we got it. And, well, basically I just had to repeat that four, uh, three more times. So eventually I did. And next part is going to be the Warthog run, which um, is actually pretty interesting because with the Warthog run, driving a Warthog, it actually does kind of make sense to use the, um, the racing wheel with the Warthog because you are literally driving the Warthog at that point with the racing wheel. So it, uh, well, in just a second, we'll see how well it actually works with the racing wheel because it's a uh, even though like a warthog is a vehicle that you drive with a steering wheel in the game with an actual steering wheel it's uh it, it's not like it's not really meant to be driven like that because you are still using like you're still meant to be using your stick to drive it so it's it may be uh, not as accurate or maybe like a little too over sensitive with the steering so we'll see in a bit what it's like so let's uh, hop into warthog now and well time to drive a warthog with an actual steering wheel so as you can see it is already pretty easy to overturn it i have to like like if i really need to turn then i do need to sharply turn but if i turn too much then it kind of does spin out but overall the uh the steering wheel does actually work pretty well with the warthog i i did actually i mean aside from like my arms getting really tired from like holding the steering wheel for quite a long time i did kind of enjoy driving the warthog with the steering wheel it was actually kind of fun and it was a uh well i've never driven a warthog like that before actually it was it was somewhat realistic actually when it comes to driving a warthog and yeah i mean i mean like it's it's a totally different experience but it, it works actually pretty well with the warthog and i would say the steering wheel works a lot better with the warthog than it does with shooting <laughs> in the game because with the warthog you don't need to look up or down at all you you literally can just look side side to side, which is exactly perfect for the uh, steering wheel. So, you know, the whole auto look centering thing, that's not an issue at all with the um, with the steering wheel and the Warthog. So it actually worked out pretty well. However, as you can see, it, it is still a little trickier to drive the Warthog with the steering wheel than it would be with a controller. Because it's... Um, it's not as precise anymore. Like look, like turning around, steering a little bit. I, I probably just have to get like used to it. But this was my first time actually doing this with the steering wheel and driving the Warthog. So there were actually a few times where I like crashed or fell off the edge or missed like a jump. I I did cut those out of the video for uh, to save time. But the uh, you know it, it, the reason why like those happened was because it's just the. It does. It just feels kind of weird, like driving the Warthog this way and like keeping it accurate. It's if like if you can't keep the steering wheel like perfectly steady, like you could like a stick, then it's very easy for the Warthog to kind of go to stray off course and you know you'll crash into something or if you make a big jump you might miss. Because actually, like the big jump up ahead here, that took me like three tries maybe before I finally got it. Because uh, each time, like, I was either, like, way off or slightly off or something like that. And it's it's just, uh, you know, it took me a little bit to, to fully get used to using the uh, the steering wheel this way. But nonetheless, it uh, worked. And, you know, we're almost at the end now. And it, it despite, like, all the times I messed up, or well, it wasn't too that many times, but a few times I messed up while driving the steering wheel, we still have a fair amount of time left. And... Even if this was a legendary run, we'd still, I think we'd still be able to make it with enough time left. So, it's uh, it doesn't the steering wheel doesn't hamper you too much. And like I said, this was just my first playthrough with it. Um, any other, I, I feel like if I used it enough, I'd probably get used to it. But at the moment, you know, this is like, I this wasn't like too bad of a playthrough. I think for my first time using it. So, here we are. We are at the end and. Like I said, driving the Warthog was all right, actually, with the steering wheel. It, it it's not like I'm playing Forza though. It, it doesn't it doesn't quite feel like I'm using a steering wheel in a racing game, like an actual driving game, but it still works pretty well. Uh, it's just 
a little bit different. And plus, you don't use the triggers to, to accelerate. Basically, the verdict, to sum it all up, yes, it is very possible to play Halo with um, the Xbox 360 wireless racing wheel. However, um, only Halo 1, Halo CE, can you actually play through the whole mission with it. Because all the other games... You, you can't move with the D-pad, and this only has a D-pad on it. So only Halo 1 lets you walk around, move around and stuff with a D-pad. With, uh, with CE, you can pretty much do it all. It's not the greatest way to play Halo. I'd rather play with the Easy Palm Mouse. That's a lot more playable. Uh, but this is playable, and with Dry and a Warthog, it's, it's actually kind of fun. It's almost... It's almost like you're realistically driving a Warthog. Um, in fact, I, I might try like a first-person Warthog mod uh, pretty soon on Halo 1 and then drive with this. It'll be uh, pretty realistic, actually. But overall, that about uh, sums it all up. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, as always, make sure to leave a like. You know, click the little like button down there. And if there's uh, anything else you want to look into or check out or... If there's anything else for me to try to play Halo with, um, I know people have done Guitar Hero controllers before, but those are really tricky, and they, I think 1% actually succeeded. But if you uh, want me to try like anything else, any other like kind of input device, feel free to let me know in the comments below. But aside from that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. You know, click the little button somewhere here. And um, aside from that, I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.